Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to have a cube follow the player. Step one, we're going to add a plane. There's a little static checkbox here. We're going to check the plane to be a static object. Okay. And also, just so it's easy to see the cubes move around, I have this um, texture I downloaded from the internet. It's just basically a picture. And I put it in the assets folder of my project. I'm going to drag and drop that picture on there so that we could have the ground have a picture on it. Step two, we're going to add an obstacle to the scene. It's just a cube. And reset. We're going to make that obstacle a static object too. Um, let's move it up and move it over a little. And then I'm going to use this icon to stretch it. Okay. And that's going to be static too. All right. Let me see. I'm going to call this obstacle. That was step two. Now that we have our floor and an obstacle, I'm going to bake a nav mesh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, for step three, I'm going to bake a nav mesh. I'm going to go to window navigation. And here's the bake. What it's going to do is it's going to bake a nav mesh on everything that's static. Um, it wants me to save the scene first. Fine. Just call it scene. Okay, now the area highlighted in blue, those are the travelable areas of our scene there. So that's the end of step three. Back to the inspector window. So now I'm going to continue and I'm going to add step four. I'm going to add the player. It's a cube. Cube player. And to be able to move the cube player around, I'm going to have to add a script. So with cube player selected, add a component. And it's going to be a new script. I'm going to call it cube player. But -dum -ba -dum. Double click on cube player to open up the script. And then for a cube player, I want you guys to type this in. Okay, I'll give you a chance to look at it. Got a public float for the move speed and the turn speed. They're public, so they show in the inspector window. And then in the update function, I'll just use input get key to read the arrow keys. Um, transform translate to move it forward and backward and transform rotate to turn it to the left and turn it to the right. Okay, save that. Go back over here and see a little hourglassy thingy. It's reading the script and it should show move speed, turn speed. All right, so there we have the player. Let me just test that, make sure that's working. I press play and I can move the cube. Okay. Now I need to add in step five. I'm going to add the cube that's going to follow me. Okay, reset position a little. Just so I have a chance to get away, I'm going to put the cube on this side over here. Now, for the cube to be able to follow me, <clears throat> cube follow. For the cube to be able to follow me, I need to have, uh, I need to add a component to it called the nav mesh agent, which is under navigation, nav mesh agent. The nav mesh agent is going to allow this cube to interact with the nav mesh. So, as we can see here, this 
the screen cylinder thing. That's kind of like the nav mesh agent. And I'm just going to shorten its height to match up with my cube, which I think is about one. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to make the radius a little bit bigger to better represent the cube size, seven, five, you know, make it better like that. And then I'm also going to have to add a script, new script that I'm going to call cube follow. Enter. And then I'll double click on the script, just like it, edit it. Is it coming up? Come on, double click. All right, so for the cube follow script, I want you guys to type it to be like this. And the things you're going to have to remember to add are we're going to be using the unity engine.ai so that we have access to the nav mesh agent object okay a public variable that we want to show in the inspector window is we want to let the user be able to say what the target's going to be for our for our cube to follow that scheme object and then internally in the script we just want to have a pointer to our follow cubes nav mesh agent component and in the start function we're going to set the nav mesh agent component variable okay and then in the update function we'll just keep telling the nav mesh agent attached to our cube to keep following the target set the set the destination as a target which just makes the object move toward the, whatever we say is a target so save the script and go back to the unity and look right here at the cube follow script the public variable we added should show up right after unity finishes digesting that right there you go so the cube follow script we have to say what it's going to follow so i'm going to just pass over drag and drop the cube player into that box all right now just before i press play i want to make sure i align the camera so Align with view. All right, good. Now let's press play and see what happens. Does that cube follow me around? And yes, it does. Oh, it's moving so fast. I can't get away. All right. So the speed that the cube follows me at, that, well, the speed that the cube moves at basically is over here in the nav mesh agent. It's the speed, which by default was set to 3.5. So let me make it a little bit slower one which is how fast i can move and then for its turning speed i'll just set it to 30 turning a little bit slower than i do all right now press play again i should be able to get away from it a lot easier now yeah he moves slower he turns slower and plus he can't do this i just go right through but his nav mesh agent doesn't have him going through solid objects you know travel path but there you go the cubes following me okay and it just gets right in my same position and it would stop there you go